What is going on guys, Tadwafa here, and welcome back to some more Jurassic World Evolution. Now, last time we left off, we had a really good part going, and we still do right now. You can see we're still at four and a half stars, very, very close to that five stars. I'm getting a lot of uh, DNA and genome uh, progress done here off camera, but I think I answered a few people in the comments saying, hey, why don't you use two dig teams? You should be able to use two dig teams, and I think you can use two dig teams. If I go over here to Island Navigation, if I go back to Isla Mented Cerros, I might be able to use their dig team, but the way to use dig teams like, you know, multiple dig teams on one island is, yeah, you can see right there, when we hit five stars, dig team Bravo, you know, dig team number two, the second dig team, dig team Bravo unlocks at five stars here on Isla Muerta, so... We're half a star away from that, you guys. And then I even did a little bit more research, literally at the research center, and uh, Dig Team Charlie, I think. Uh, yeah, down here, look at that. Dig, G Dig Team Charlie, you can see right there, research centers required is three. So I assume three across all islands. But right here, we need an Isla Muerta rating of five stars in order to get that unlocked. An additional offshore Dig Team that can be sent on separate expeditions to find fossils and minerals. Yes, you can see we need five stars for that to be unlocked. And it says unlock conditions are not met. Oh! I've received an offer that will definitely help the science division and can help you as well. Hopefully, yeah. You look at that. I'm mean, like our science division reputation there on the bottom right. That's the lowest between all three different divisions. So we definitely need to take this contract, you guys. Anyways, prevent any power outages occurring for 10 continuous minutes. That seems easy enough, especially whenever we had the uh, little outage protection thing on each and every one of our buildings. I think we should be able to do that, no problemo. I can't begin to count the number of things in our labs that rely on constant, reliable power. Computers, autoclaves, incubators, genetic sequencers, you get the picture. Yeah, I do. Let's accept. Anyways, I did get the little quest for the 60% genome on the Carithosaurus. Got that nice and unlocked, and I'm over here still working on the genome. As you can see right here, we have two new fossils. It looks like, uh, yeah, they're both for the Carithosaurus. One of them's three star, one of them's two star, and we did just get over 50%, or actually like 60 or something percent, because I think that was the, uh, the mission for that. Oh, we have a we have a thing to sell as well. So we should be able to make one here in just a moment, and then of course what do we get? The better genome, the better uh, oh, we have the dig team over here as well. I did uh, deplete this site over here, site depleted, so we cannot get any more Anklo and Carithosaurus DNA from there, or fossils, or whatever. So I'm over here getting the Edmontosaurus and Carithosaurus fossils and stuff like that, and I think the Edmontosaurus is either 100% full genome or very, very close to it. So, Edmontosaurus, yeah, look at that, 98% right there, not bad. Anyways, yeah, Chungkingosaurus, you guys want to make one of those? I don't think we have any of them. And I don't know if I want to wait a million years for us to, uh, ooh, viability is down to 44%, but we do get a plus 60 percent thing. I don't know if we have any Chungkingosaurus, because it's been a little while, I don't remember, but we can go to, where is it, uh, map, I think? Dinos, uh, pull that thing out, and let's look at the list here. I'm not seeing a Chungkingosaurus here, so yeah, let's start making uh, some of those guys. Let's just make one, and then let's just make one Carithosaurus, and then look at their social thing and see, hey, they want to have, you know, multiple critters here, multiple friends and stuff like that, so let's make one Chungkingosaurus. Let's look at the genome, trying to... Okay, we already did a little bit of tweaking here and there for that guy, and I think same thing here. Yeah, I think we did that beforehand, before we even had on him uh, unlocked. Yeah, that's pretty good there. What about this one? Plus 12... Oh, wow, not bad. Okay, well, let's get this Chungkingosaurus nice and incubated, or at least started incubating. And Carithosaurus, what about this guy? Let's see. I might have done the same for this guy. I've already uh, gone through his genome and stuff like that. Let's see. Yeah, plus 12% rating, plus 12% rating there. Not bad. All right, well, let's make one of these guys as well. And that guy is well over 100% viability. Both of them over 100% viability, so should not worry about them uh, failing and whatnot. Anyways, no power outages. You can see there in the bottom right corner. The clock is already ticking, so that's good. Anyways, I did get some comments from you guys saying, hey, whenever there's a storm here on Isla Muerta, that, like, angers or agitates the raptors over here, so that's definitely something we need to watch out for. Same thing with the live bait thing. I, I was like, hey, they're they're killing the, the goats, but they're not eating them. Well, someone, you know, pointed out saying, hey, well, do you really expect a raptor to heck and eat one whole or anything like that? A whole entire goat? And they brought up a good point, so I decided to make these back over here, I have two live bait feeders, and some of you guys were also saying, hey, they might get kind of agitated because they're, you know, natural hunters and stuff like that. They, they want to hunt. So I've got two live bait feeders. There are some goats roaming around, or at least I saw some 
before I start up the recording. So they have some critters to start hunting as well as the most combat victories thing there. We might want to make like a Dilophosaurus or just literal sacrificial lamb over here and uh, try and get them to hunt it for the most combat victories thing as well as that's going to hopefully bring our dino rating up a little bit because, uh, you know, apparently whenever a dino, like a dino battle happens, that makes the rating on the dino that kills the other dino, that makes their rating go up. Anyways, I guess I never extracted a DNA over here. Or, yeah, I think they just came back. Okay, at Montasaurus, yep, look at that two star right there with only 2% uh, left. Yeah, that's going to hit 100% full genome here. No problem, you guys. Awesome. All right, well, how about the Corythus? Okay, so it's at 74% right now. It's getting pretty close to that 100%, though, you got to admit. Anyways, let's get our expedition team out a bit. Where do we want to go? Yeah, let's go back to Edmontosaurus, Corythus. I'm like, the Edmontosaurus is going to hit 100% here in just a bit. I don't think there's anywhere where it's exclusively the Corythosaurus. So, I guess I could go here and get Triceratops, Ankylosaurus, Shruthio, Mimus, all that. Yeah, let's go there. And then over here, that's just Ceratosaurus, yeah. Don't need to go over there. We already have the 100% genome for that fella. How, how are our Dilophosaurus, speaking of Dilophosaurus, how are Dilophosaurus doing? I mean, if I could even find them, hopefully they're doing all right. Oh, there's one right there. How's he doing? Yeah, his social's all right. It's comfort, food, water, all that's fine. You know what? Let me get that. Does this guy have a live bait feeder? Or... Nah, I guess not. Yeah, let, 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 me, let me give all of them a live bait feeder. All the carnivores. Uh, dino ready to release. Oh, look at that. We're ready to release them. Anyways, so we got to release. Let's release some goats here in the Lophosaurus area. Ba Boom. All right. I don't know where the other one is. The other. Oh, I, I could just click on him, I think. Oh, and by the way, I finally have my mouse cursor back. <laughs> Oh man, I forgot that. I recorded like three or four or five episodes without my mouse cursor, so finally it's back. Anyways, that's Montasaurus 100% Gina. Oh, there's the other, uh, Dilophosaurus. Look at that! Man, I love when our dinos and everything is going right. Everything's, you know, not going to heck. <laughs> everything's not failing and stuff. <laughs> let's go back over here. Yeah, let's release the Chungkingosaurus. Don't think we ever made one of these guys before, so let's watch the little thing. As well as listen to the announcer pronounce the name. I have been editing my videos with, like, correct pronunciations and stuff like that to kind of, you know, hear what it sounds like. But let's see what the announcer says. See if it's anything close. You gotta admit, that does look pretty cool. It is in the Stegosaurus family, right? I know this one. An herbivore called Chungkingosaurus. Can you guess where it was first found? <laughs> don't tell me scientists don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> I, I think... I think it was like, uh, I did, you know, minimal reading on it. I think it means, like, Chinese or something like that. That's, that's apparently what the China... I, I don't know. Maybe someone can leave a comment down below. But I, I think it has something to do with China. Especially because I think we went to China to actually make these guys. Anyway, social's kind of red right now. Definitely want to give this guy a friend. Maybe two. So, let's go back over here. Let's go release the Carithosaurus. See what they say about this one. We heard... I think Cabot Finch, I think that was? I, we heard him pronounce it. Let's see what they say about the Carithosaurus. Oh, expedition complete. I guess we're going to listen to the intercom lady to say it instead of Kevin Finch. Look at that guy, though. You gotta admit, really, really cool fellas here. This guy's got that, like, duck bill thing going on. With this animal, the Corythosaurus, you can really see chaos in action. Think of all the combinations and patterns that life tries out looking for that perfect structure. <laughs> it's not about success. Life is about refining failure over and over and over again. Always a work in progress, ourselves included. Yeah, they call that evolution. And yeah, his social's in the red. I think I think that both the Chunkingosaurus and the, oh yeah, we still have to take a picture of a dino running. Oh, and by the way, the, uh, the security I think that was, we're really close to getting the security thing right there. Yeah, mission survival of the fittest. Once we get the reputation up to that lock right there, we get a new, like a straight up mission. So that's great. And it was just give these guys a frag. Oh, this is the Chunking. Oh, what is this over here then? That's the, uh, oh yeah, that's the Hawaiiangosaurus, yeah, 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 they, they're kind of similar, and I think they're both from, like, China or in the China area, so, anyways, I don't think this, oh wait, that's the Hawaiiangosaurus, let me go to Chunkingosaurus, there it is right there, I don't think we have a different, uh, oh yeah, we do for this guy, oh, we could have, yeah, you know what, let's make three of them, let's make three of them, let's apply the gene, and let's incubate that one, and let's, let's get another one of these, oh yeah, I should probably check the social as well, yeah, you know what, let me get the Corythosaurus, because, I think the social is a little bit better than population. I meant to say population right there, by the way. Anyways, uh, yeah, this guy does not have any different uh, cosmetics. So to kind of get a little bit of variation, we might want to do... What can we do? Intuitive learning. Yeah, 
uh, I have resilience, lifespan, all that kind of stuff. Let's do this one. Resilience goes up a little bit. There we go. Just a tiny little tweak compared to his friend. Let's incubate this guy as well. All right, so we're going to have some friends over here for our brand new Carithosaurus, as well as Chungingosaurus. Speaking of such, yeah, the population is pretty low on that one, so it will definitely not really care too much about the extra critters. And same thing with the Carithosaurus. All right, things are going great right now, you guys. All right. Well, anyways, let's go. Let's get a ranger team. Oh, wait. What's this thing right here? Control room. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have new fossils. And Kylosaurus, 60% uh, on that. Let's get the same thing over here. Both three stars are not bad at all. Anyways, yeah, let's get the ranger team. Let's drive the actual thing itself. And let's go finally photograph a dinosaur running. I think we can go to the... Oh, and by the way, some of you guys were saying, hey, you could just, like, run into people and it doesn't really matter. But I don't know if I want to myth bust that or not. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. There we go. Oh, get out of the way. Oh. Oh, what? Yeah, I think, I think there's like an invisible barrier around me that makes like forces people to go around me. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I think you guys are real. I think you guys are real news. Look at that. Thank you guys very much. Both you guys in the, like, watching the video as well as the heckin' people <laughs> in the streets for getting out of the way, right? Anyways, let's go take some pictures of some raptors because they're always running around. They're not always just like feeding, especially whenever they're feeding, right? Whenever they're hunting on the prowl, if you will. Oh, 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 don't cry. Oh, whoa, that was close as heck. All right, well. Let's definitely get our camera out. Start zooming in on these fellas. Yeah, that one's just eaten. Let's see if we can catch uh, oh, oh, that, well, that one's swimming. I don't know if that counts as running. I feel like something's missing. Well, there's a dino in the. Well, do you not see it? Or is this Loch Ness monster over here? <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's wait till that one gets out of the water and it's running. Come on. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. I myself have dabbled in photography. Nothing as good as this, mind you. Uh oh. Oh, sheesh. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, guys, but uh, I did make my gates The double. security division owes you one. Yeah, no problem. I, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did make my uh, my gates, like, double, like, dual-layered. I, I think I talked about that, but I'll... Oh, oh, is that... Did anyone escape outside behind me? Whew, I think not. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh, I think we have a security mission. Yes! Yes, we do. I've got a unique and challenging opportunity. Be warned, though. This one... It may get a little rough. But then, no one said this job was always going to be pretty, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is what I was talking about like five minutes ago. I was thinking about making it to the Lost Source for the Lost Raptors to, you know, hunt and do that one mission. But it seems like we're doing it anyways. Survival of the fittest. Incubate and release, and then close together a Dilophosaurus and a Velociraptor. Now, the Velociraptor's, like, social thing, it can definitely handle a fifth Velociraptor in the same enclosure. So, I think we're going to make it to Dilophosaurus and a Velociraptor at the Ham Hammond Creation Lab, or Center, or whatever it's called. Both at the same time, release them at the same time, I guess just let nature take its course. And it was a see what the mission thing says here. Construct a secure enclosure capable of containing dinosaur combatants. Release and house new dinosaurs within the enclosure. Ensure any containment anomalies are dealt with effectively, I guess they mean, you know, them breaking out of the fences and stuff like that, right? The mission will fail if a mission required dino- Ooh, hold, whoa, hold on, hold on. The mission will fail if a mission required dinosaur is killed. Wait, and it gives you electrified heavy steel. Ooh, that's what we need, you guys. Because right now, we either do electric light steel or heavy steel. We don't have the electric heavy yet, and we need to do this to earn it. I wonder if there's a countdown, because of course, you know, nature's going to take its course, right? So, of course, the lava swords, or maybe even the raptor, I don't know. I, I guess we'll find out. Up for the challenge, I see. Good. This task is going to test your skills and your will. See, we're setting up a situation in which we will have dinosaurs in competition. Kinetic action. Like it happens in nature. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. Look at that, we just got... I don't know if you guys saw on the bottom right corner. Step one. Construct or modify an enclosure so that it's capable of supporting dinosaur combat. You'll need to incubate, hatch, and house dinosaurs within this enclosure. Are we crossing a line here? Because it feels like we're crossing a line, creating the conditions for these animals to engage one another? To use their primal, instinctual drive to hunt and kill as a testing ground for what, exactly? Hmm. Oh, ready to release. Uh, where's that at? Oh, yeah, it's the, uh, the Shunkingosaurus and all them. I owe you for this, and I won't forget it. Yeah, that's the, I, I was trying to say it right there, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we got the, uh, we got the mission for science by not having any outages, power outages for 10 minutes, that was awesome. Anyways, we already saw the animation for these guys, so let's release both of them, release the Carithosaurus as well as the Chunkingosaurus, we're releasing them both, that's great. So I guess what we're gonna do, oh, 
Let's not argue over the small stuff. Looking at the big picture, this is a solid contract. Ooh, awesome. Sounds good. Use the expedition to center to unearth a carnivore fossil. I don't think we have any new carnivores that we... Well, then again, it wouldn't matter, right? Like, we just go to, like, a Ceratosaurus place and get it, I guess? Use the expedition center to unearth a carnivore fossil. Use the expedition center to send a, a dig team on an expedition to unearth... I guess it doesn't matter, yeah. Okay, well, let's go send our expedition center, which I don't even think they're doing anything right now. Yeah, they're at home. Let's go send them over to... Yeah, let's go send them over here to the Morrison Formation. Get them a Ceratosaurus thing. Oh my god, over a half million dollars of profit. Pure, unadulterated profit. Per minute. Anyways, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was looking over here like, is this is this big enough for... I'm like, they are medium-sized dinos, right? So I assume they could do some sort of dino battle in this little little buffer area. So well, I guess we'll do it. Let's just make ourselves a Velociraptor. And is the Dilophosaurus 100%? Yes, it is. Yes. All right. Anyways, what do we want to do? Hmm. Do we want to do any modifications to make them more like battle? Oh, yeah, here it is right here. Attack, tooth hardness, reaction speed, intuitive learning, aggressive instincts. Might want to do that one because the uh, Velociraptor. Whew, you better. Oh, man, another one right there for it. So, OK, so I have two for attack, tooth hardness, aggressive instincts, reaction speed, null gene, intuitive learning. Yeah, let's let's do one tooth hardness, I guess. And then lifespan. I don't think that really. Oh, another one for attack, reaction speed. I guess we could do a reaction speed for that one as well. So it has reaction speed, tooth hardness, as well as intuitive learning. I think, and that's for the Velociraptor. Let's incubate that guy, and let's do something similar for the Velociraptor. Maybe they're going to put up a fight, and it's going to be equal ground. Who knows? Let's see. Resilience. Ooh. Immune. I think the Velociraptor has that. Defense. Ooh. Aggressive instincts. Intensive repair. Might want that one. That might be pretty good for repairing it. You know, whenever it's injured and stuff. Skin toughness. Ooh, that's another one right there. Ooh. Yeah, let's do the repair one. That should be fine. Tooth hardness. Aggressive instincts. Let's do that one. Aggressive instincts. Oh. <laughs> Resilience. A robust digestion. Intensive repair. Intuitive learning, immune response. Yeah, let's just keep that one. Then the other attack, tooth hardness, reaction speed, aggressive. I think we're fine. All right, let's make the Dilophosaurus incubate. Oh, man, this is going to be crazy, you guys. How are they doing in percentage-wise? Dilophosaurus, 2%. Velociraptor, 21%. All right, well, it's going to be a little while for them. Let's go check up on our expedition team. Because their dig speed is, like, six times faster than regular. And they're almost, yep, they're back. They're home. Are we going to get that mission nice and done? I assume so. And I wonder if we get the survival of the fittest thing going. If we get the most combat victories thing, a uh, little quest or contract as well. That's going to be interesting. Boom! Got him! There's the carnivore fossil. When another contract comes up, I'm turning to you first. All right. And that's what I was talking about, you guys. We just, you know, take the Ceratosaurus uh, fossils, just sell it. Because, of course, we already have 100% genome for that, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, how are these guys doing? Yeah, they're still maybe about third-ish the way. Let's go back over to our second herbivore area over here. Let's go check out the Chungingosaurus as well as the Carithosaurus. See how their social's doing over here. Ooh, yeah, Chungingosaurus. Yeah, look at that. Right on the line of blue and red right there. So definitely want to think about getting a third. And how about the, uh, the Carith... Which one's the... There's right there. Yeah, same thing there. So let's go make a third Carithosaurus. Third Chunkingosaurus. And Incubate Dino. And I think the uh, Chunkingosaurus... That's the only one that has like a third or has three different uh, cosmetics. So we can just, you know, change the way it looks. Incubate. But for Carithosaurus... Oh no, dead dino. Dead dino, I assume. Natural. Completely natural, right? Or is it... Uh, oh no, one of the Velociraptors. Ah, oh, man. Well, then again, we're already making one, right? And we assume it's going... Oh, Storm Imp coming in as well. Oh, pick up the asset. we need to watch out, you guys. So this is what happens off camera is that whenever we get the Storm incoming, a little warning, that's when I open up the Storm Shelters. Let everyone come in, uh, Ranger team. Let's just let them resupply that. Yeah, resupply that as well. I, I do this all the time. Just like, you know, get the Rangers, check them on these uh, feeders resupplying. Whenever it seems like they need to be res resupplied and stuff like that. I, I think they only show the little resupply icon wherever they need to be resupplied, or at least they're close to being resupplied. Oh, Storm Warning, yeah, I think we're fine right now, though. And what is that? Feeder, Storm, and everyone's inside already. And they're transporting the dead Velociraptor. Oh, I didn't check if it was, uh... Oh, Stretcher Dam. No, 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 no. Stretcher Damage, where? Where is I think it's because of the Storm, not because... Of, yeah. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's because of the Storm. Requires repair. Okay. So, how about, how about this guy? Come on. Get the live bait feeder repaired and then add a task. Come on. Thankfully, it wasn't a fence that broke. And there we go. Add task. Repair that. All right. We're good. They heard the extra command. Everyone's going inside the shelters because it's raining. So that's good. Man, we're up to $36 million right now. Yes. That is crazy. I think they're saying everyone going inside the shelters in like a million different languages. That's probably what that intercom sound is in there. Reloading that feeder right there. Reserve empty. 
I think the live bait feeders are fine as well. Oh, I am a creation lab. Three. Yep, that's these. Ooh. Ooh. Might want to wait here until the storm passes, because of course... Well, then again, it would make them more aggressive, right? Hmm. Building damage. Close shop, too. No, the close shop has been damaged. What about, uh, Atas resupply? Yeah. Repair that one. Is that one... Yeah, that one's like right next to a... That one's right next to two different little storm buildings. These things should protect them. Not only that, provides protection against weather damage to mo nearby buildings. Uh, how is that... That one's literally between two different ones. I don't know how that's damaged. <laughs> oh, man. Kind of crazy, though. He's blind. Uh, at task. Let's see if there's any more buildings that might be... Oh, yeah. Hammock. Wow, that one's damaged, though. Yeah. Definitely want to... Oh, that one's damaged as well. Wow. Lots of places being damaged here, you guys. Wow. Holy heck. Uh-oh. We have a fence over here getting damaged as well. Hold on. Hold on, ACU helicopter. ACU. There you go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, repair the toy shop. Uh, whatever, repair that fence. Repair the fence. Oh, I think what I can do right now, though, is because there's no Vlogs Raptors, like, right there. I can just kind of build like that, maybe. Ah, oh, I did this first time. I forgot. Man, come on. Okay, get rid of those. And then do that. And then there we go. I built that. Okay. That's, that's one thing I can do. Come on, repair close shop to whatever. Fence broken. No, another one. This is what I'm talking about. They'll break that one fence and I have enough time to hopefully bring some people over here to repair it. But thankfully everyone's already inside. That's good. Oh, what in the world? He went around. How'd he go around? Holy. Okay, where's the ACU center? Where are they at? Where are they at? They should, they should knock out my critters. Come on, knock them out. Where's the other one at? I don't know. Come on. This one should knock out that one as well. Acknowledged. They're outside. They're outside. Come on. No, Ranger team. Where are they at? Come here. Repair. Repair. Yeah, respond to the repair request. We have lots of raptors out. <laughs> They're hacking escaping. No, Ranger team. Wait, what in the world? How do they not have access? Yeah, what, what in the world? They totally have access. Anyways. I don't know. Maybe they ha don't have access to that directly. I don't know. Hopefully that one right there should be able to repair it, though. All right, well, we have a lot of, like, damaged buildings. I think they're all, uh... That one's doing stuff there. Okay, I think I think they're all, like, over here at this fence. Oh, no, 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 that fence over there. That fence over there is being... Oh, is that one knocked out? That one is knocked out. That's good. Well, we do have another one right here. Come on, get them. Trank oh, they're already uh, trying to tranquilize them. That's good. All right, well, let's get another round. Uh, let's get a transport team. Bring him there. Get another one. Oh, that's a good... Oh, wait. Okay, whatever. All right, well, let's get a ranger team over here. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. This is tedious as heck, though. They, they keep breaking the fences. <laughs> oh, they keep breaking the heckin' fences here, you guys. It's crazy. Come here. There we go. All right, well, those are being repaired, hopefully. This one seems to be repaired. That one needs to be repaired, though. Let's get another ranger team here. Man, I have so many ranger teams. I might need to get more of them, though. Golly. Yeah, respond to the repair already. God. <laughs> we have so many problems going on right now. I don't want to I don't want to level one outside of the shelters until everything is fine. We still have three things broken right now. Might want to get another ranger team. How's our uh, how's our thing over here? Oh, I can't buy another one. Transportation underway. Yeah, I can't buy another one. I guess I guess three is the, the most ranger teams I can have. Man, unless I make another ranger station, of course. Anyways, how's this doing? Is that one uh Oh, what in the world? How's that? How's that? I thought I told them to Pick this guy up. I guess I didn't. Oh yeah, that was a different one. All right. Well, there's three Velociraptors being like <laughs> transported. Everything under control. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm like I'm getting better over here, but I'm not bragging or anything. All shelters open. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think we should be fine. There we go. Let everyone out. I think we're fine now. All the transport copters are going. I think I might let loose the uh, the Velociraptor and the Dilo now, you guys. Let me make. Let me just make sure though. Let me select a Ranger team at task. And I'm not seeing any icons here showing that it's, uh, anything's broken. Let's just go over, let's do a sweep of the whole map, though. Yep, not seeing any icons saying, hey, this is broken, hey, duh. Yep, yep, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I have been kind of contemplating whether or not I should make a, make a ranger team that's, like, right next to that. But then again, the other ranger team, that's, like, right there, so it's kind of close. But I was thinking about making a ranger team that's, like, really close, kind of like this ACU team right there, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I don't think we have room, but, man, I'd love to do that, so I don't have to have them going, you know decently far away. Anyways, Velociraptor. Let's get that guy out. Let's get the Dilo out, too. I, d I don't know if I should have let the Dilo out first, or the Velociraptor, or what. But there's the Velociraptor. He's got those upgrades. Kind of battle-ready, if you will. Ooh, hoo, hoo. He's like, ooh. I'm smelling. I'm smelling a Dilo. I'm ready to hunt. We are pleased to welcome a Velociraptor to the park. 
the Velociraptor to the park. And now, the Dilo. The Dilo fellow. Is that guy going to survive? And if so, how long? The Velociraptor is out. You see the check thing on the bottom right corner? Now the Dilo is out. Hopefully they don't die. Did we get it? They're in close together. Oh, oh. And this is what we've been working toward. Time to let them fight. Let's make sure we're all on a forward posture from this point on. Okay. My people are in place to observe this interaction. Uh, I think you mean slaughter? You believe in nature, don't you, Dr. Malcolm? We are simply enabling it. No, you're manipulating it, and the outcome of your actions cannot be known. I thought you liked the unknown, Dr. Malcolm. Proceed with the test. Yeah, a lot of you Oh, man. Prophet's still holding up after that storm thing, but... They're fighting to the death. What if I'm... Th oh, wait, hold on. I think I can get a ranger team. Oh, wait. Oh, God, what? When things go wrong, who do they turn to first? You guessed it. So consider this contract part of us always being ready. Man, why are you giving a contract in the middle of a dino battle? Whatever, acquire at least 75% of Baryonyx's genome. I think we get that a little bit later. Anyways. This is where it starts. Get this part right, and then we can talk about the rest. Ooh. Spit on him. Oh, pounced! Dilo's, Dilo's weak. He's on his knees. I don't think he's... Oh, pounced! Oh, that's the end. That's it. That's it. And then I think we bring a ranger team to heal. Dr. Wu's observers need to study the victor. Let's keep him safe. Oh, I'm glad I wasn't here to witness what happened. There was blood, wasn't there? Uh, claws and teeth and roaring aren't really my thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, well, we could probably open up the gate now, but there you guys go. Make sure the victor victorious dinosaur remains housed within the security. Okay, well, I guess we can't open up the door just yet until that timer there on the bottom right, you know, hits zero, of course. So, I'm like, it's not like he's going to die or anything. I'm like, the only other critters here in the uh, Velociraptor area is, of course, Velociraptors. But at least he has some food, but he doesn't have any water. Of course, he wants some water, so... Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's breaking out. He's getting aggressive. He's getting aggressive. He's, he's breaking out. I might as well open up the gate. He's contracted. Just open it. Go through the opening. Don't have to break through that. That cost me money. Come on. Come on. Repair the fence. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait. That was the, uh, that was the die, though. Okay. Let's get another uh, ranger team over here. We have a disease contracted. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Having, having three ranger teams. That's good. So there you go. He broke that gate. Well, one of the openings. That's still... I'm like, God, you didn't have to break through that. <laughs> uh, like you're... Oh, oh. Are they- are you going to repair- what in the world are you doing? I'm driving that, I'm driving it. No, 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 no. I'm repairing. I'm repairing. Can I repair from here? Uh, it's not giving me the option. Whatever, let me tell them to repair- oh wait. Oh, that- that ranger team repaired it. Alright, that's good. <laughs> okay, what- uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. fence! Where is it? Oh no! Fence! Hey you! You! You guys! Come here! Come here! Fence! Fence! Fence is being broken! Who's bro oh, that one right there! Right there! Hold on! Where is the, uh... Where's the one that broke the fence? Did he not... Uh-oh. Another one. Another one. Something's... Oh, right there! Hold on, you! You, you, you! Acknowledging request for repair crew. Yeah, yeah, look at that. We have two rangers here making sure they do not break out. Whew, three minutes left, you guys. Gotta make sure they stay inside the enclosure. Gotta make sure... I don't know which one's which. Which one's the one that got the kill? I guess I could look at their uh, stats or something like that, right? Uh, does it say how many kills? Um, I'm not seeing it right now, right off the bat. Combat dinosaurs killed zero, so that's not the one. Because, of course, the, uh, the one that killed the Dilo, that would have a dinosaur killed one. So, I think we're fine. Kind of want to keep this guy here and not, like, go home. Because you never know, they might try and escape again. Let's get a, uh, ranger team return to base. Add task. Just keep looking at the, the walls and stuff here, to, the gates. Man, I really need that uh, electric heavy gate. Uh-oh, no, 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 no. They're doing it again. They're doing it again! At task! At task, where is it? They just- someone just rammed right into the gate! I know they're trying to escape. There's a goat right there, just kill it! <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like- Oh man, that raptor's gonna get him. Is he gonna get him? Look at him, you guys. He knows. Come on, go! Pounce on him! Get him! Get him! Uh-oh, there he goes! Oh, there he goes! Wow! Kill! Insta-kill! <laughs> Sheesh! You gonna share your dinner now? You got your friend coming over, and uh, he's just... Uh-oh, that one's gonna escape. That one's totally gonna... Yep. Look at that, he's gonna run. He's gonna run. Come here! Repair! Reporting in. Repair! 
Come on! They're escaping again! Wait, hold on. Is that the one? That's the one. Oh, agitated! No! No, 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 no! Come on, I'm, I'm going to need to let every... Oh, he's breaking the fence, and he didn't... Okay, didn't go through. That's good. I definitely need to keep a ranger team, like, in the thing for the last minute and a half. I think the, uh, the guy... Uh, whichever one it is, I, I, I can't tell... Oh. Oh, that one's already dead. That one's already hunted that goat. Okay, I'll... Man. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, security objective. That one had a little thing above its head. This is the one that we're talking about. That one wants water. Just go drink some water. No, he's doing it again. Yeah, it's the same one. The same troublemaker over here trying to break out all this. Okay, we have about a minute left, you guys. Let's keep our eye on this guy. Look at that. Whenever I hovered over him. Oh, and he's thirsty. Come on, just drink some... There we go. Come on. That's what it's for. That guy's got the right idea in the background. Just drink some water. You know how to drink some water? Or just drink some blood? I don't know if he knows. <laughs> oh, come on! There's a big old lake right in front of you. Is that is that repaired over there? I don't know. Hopefully it repaired it. Oh, there we go. Did you just take a big old mouthful of mud? There he goes, drinking water. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, 30 seconds left. And yeah, right there, whenever I hover over him, security objective. That's the one we're talking about. Let me go look. Yeah, right there. Dinosaurs killed one. Be bre fences breached three. Thankfully, he hasn't actually gotten outside because, of course, we're doing the dual layer thing that I've wanted to do. Oh, he's doing it again. He's doing He's going to break out again. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 14 seconds left, though. Oh, no, no, no. He's going to do it. Come on, let's get the ranger team ready. Yep, there he goes. Come on, ranger team, get over here. Prepare. Prepare Breaking out again. Three seconds, two seconds. Come on. <gasps> ba boom. Fence broken. No. No, no. Is it go? Oh, transmission. Transmission. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Survival of the fittest. 1.5 million. Electrified heavy steel now available. Perfect. Going to be replacing all of it with that. Well, it wasn't pretty to look at, but it appears Dr. Wu and his scientists have the data they were after. So, well done. And be thankful we don't have to clean up that mess. Lambert out. I don't understand what they're doing in the facilities. They certainly have enough data from the past, anomalous events on the islands to assess how the dinosaurs engage and kill one another and us. <laughs> nah, there's another agenda in play and one I intend to discover. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that Dr. Wu. Hmm, something about him just doesn't sit right. Hmm. <laughs> 1.5 mil. Yeah, I already said all that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to be replacing all the fencing here with electrified, whatever it's called. Which one is it? This one. Okay, replace mode. Yes, let's turn that on. And let's replace all of these. Hey, uh, now how can I tell which one's which? I think... Oh, that's the monorail right there. Okay, sheesh. I was wondering, like, what that sound was. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to replace... Oh, man, it's like 20-something thousand to replace, like, a whole strip of fences. That's expensive as heck, but man, is it going to be worth it. Man, it's going to be sucking down a ton of electricity as well, you guys. But like I said, that's what you have to do when you have... Oh no! Another escape attempt! No power! No! Come on! Where is that ranger team? Returning the base? What are you talking about? Reporting in. Returning the base? You haven't even done anything! No! Another! Another escape! Another escape! Okay, I'm going to make that uh, secondary one. Come on! Replace mode, yes. Turn those into electric ones. There we go. At least start with the outer ones. Probably should start with the inner ones, but of course, we're running out of power here, guys. We need to make another uh, thing. So these are basically just regular fences right now. All right, well, let's make another... Uh... Man, he's breaking out again. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Hopefully it's not an outer fence. I think it was. Man, where in the world is the ranger team? Repair request acknowledged. Golly! Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to need to make another power thing. Where in the world is it? Operations. Uh, no. Enclosures, guests. Oh, yeah, it's uh, under power, of course. <laughs> Let's go make another one over here in Power City 2. The Power City number 2 is up and running. Perfect. All right, don't need to have that. Already connected it. That's good. Let's uh, connect it up to a path, and we're fine and dandy. Perfect. All right. Well, of course, we're going to want to give that the upgrades out of protection as well as efficiency or whatever that was. So hopefully everything is going to be nice and powered over here. Let's continue upgrading everything over here in the enclosures to the electrified heavy steel. There we go. Both inside and outside the actual thing. Uh, too close to dinosaur, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's a velociraptor. Oh, oh, get out of the way. Come on, Ranger team. Just go. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Are they, are they leaving and they haven't even repaired it? Oh, man, they actually repaired it. Whoa, that's crazy. They actually repaired it for once. <laughs> Man. There we go. That's good, I think. I think that's every inch. I think that's every inch. It looks like it. Everything's got the little red lights blinking above it. I think that's good. I think... Oh, no! There's a Velociraptor running right behind the Ranger team. No, they're going to escape. They're totally going to escape. 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh my gosh, they didn't escape. Holy heck. There's three of them right there. None of them escaped. Wow. Okay, well, I think we're good. I think we're good. Is that thing like, not even making any power? Or is it just sucking down that much power? By that, yes. And let's do improved output too. There we go. Might want to make another power station there in the back. Just because. Let's rotate that like that. That should be good. Connect that up as well. Put up another path over here too. Just kind of like this. And connect it all together. There we go. All right. <laughs> it's kind of a miniature power city over there, if you will. Now, hopefully the heavy electrified steel is going to work just fine. We still have a little bit of like power like shortage or whatever here. I don't know if we have to have a substation there. I don't think so. We haven't... I'm like... As long as everything's electric already, I don't think we need to worry about that, right? Let me just make sure. Uh, enclosures. Replace. There we go. Oh, that one wasn't turned into electricity. That's the reason why. All right. Profit per minute. One or half a million dollars per minute. Really, really good there, you guys.